So here I am with open arms. You know all the people comment and they're like, you shouldn't give Lance the camera? There's not. Yeah, they're like, like he's obsessed with that zoom. <laughs> <laughs> like you hear five conversations going on, all I can see is right. <laughs> I, can, I can see like I can watch your hair growing. What he's not telling you is it's him making the comments with the other. I don't know. Right, because he wants to be the cameraman. Yeah. What's that? Artificum Solus made that. Is that, do that? Yeah, that's that auction one. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that came in the awesome box. So, what's up, guys? What'd you guys do this weekend? Lance has more to say. I, I did a lot of. Fucking nothing, a lot of nothing? Yeah, a lot of housework and clothes. You're a fucking chick that stays home all day long. Why are you doing housework? Because she works 45 hours. No, she doesn't. Okay. She works a lot. She's a good chick. I didn't say she wasn't. Didn't that, her being a good chick's not the deal. It's you being a bitch. That's the problem. I, that's exactly what I meant. Whoa! Like that. We Boom! We're all dead. We're all good. <laughs> See, karma comes around. Karma. You're fucking throwing this whole fucking place off with your fucking bitch in this. <laughs> so Lance's mom has, uh, Found the YouTube videos. Oh. She said he needs to cuss less. She actually said you also need to cuss. She didn't say shit about me though. She said like, that motherfucker John, he can say whatever he wants, but you two, you need to cuss less. Honey mouths. Right? We're gonna have to start a uh, a cuss jar over there. We gotta put a quarter in it every I time. Do, I say we do a patch for your mom. Really? What would it say? I don't know, but it's going to say something about Lance's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, mom. 50% of the proceeds will go to Lance's mom. Oh, she'd be down. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Depending. Well, Lance, I'm anxious to hear about your bike ride. I want to hear about your little adventure and your new bike. All right. Well, your newly tuned up bike. But I want to know what you thought about the trails. Okay. Where'd you go? So I went to I went and stayed in Nashville on Friday night so that I could get up first thing in the morning, bright and early, and go hit this uh, really cool looking place that uh, Colin turned me on to. It's called uh, Lock Four, and it's what about thirty minutes or so from downtown Nashville yeah, area, yeah, I think. Just outside. And yeah, so I got up and checked out and everything, and left and got uh, got on the road. I was on the road by seven. We can head in that way, get out there, find the place, and it looks really cool. And there's lots of flags and markers up and stuff. I'm like, oh crap, what's going on here? So they're having a race. They're having a six-hour uh, endurance race for laps on the track. And so I couldn't ride there. So I was kind of upset about. You that. should have entered. No, no. <laughs> that would have been rough on that track. That was, oh, dude. Six hours is a long time. My my butt's not ready for the saddle like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, so I left there and then I went and a uh, guy told me about this other place, uh, Percy Warner Park, inside Nashville. They're supposed to have a lot of good trails and stuff, and they do, but it's a, the thing is, it's a new section of the park. And long trying story, to find Long the, story short, it took last five hours to find it. Right. Basically. It took me five hours to find it, yeah. So. <laughs> um. So, but I finally, I finally did find it after five hours, as John mentioned. Right at dark. Right, yeah. No, it was a good ride, though. It was nice. Did a couple loops. Uh, two different. I rode two different sections of it. I think there's four sections. I rode two of them. Um, it was good. It was a good workout. My legs were pissed at me, though, uh, just from the week, from working out and everything else at the gym and stuff. They still hadn't quite recovered yet. And, but it was, it was a lot of fun. I'll be going back there. Awesome. And, the trees and everything, the colors, and it was just, it was a good time. It was a nice day. It was real nice, so. That's, uh, and then uh, Justin and his girl Sarah and I, we went to, what is it, the Ryman? Ryman Auditorium. Ryman Auditorium in downtown Nashville to a concert Saturday night. Who'd y'all see? Uh, Jason Isabel. 
Yeah, it was good. Kind of a new artist or something? It's polka. No, yeah. It's polka. <laughs> they had an accordion. Actually, they did have an accordion at one point. That's right. But, uh, no, it was, it's uh, kind of country, folkish or whatever. I don't know if you've heard of, like, I think he's connected with Drive-By Truckers and stuff like that. It's another band that's big or whatnot. So no, 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 that's cool, though. Or... The rhyming is cool, though. Yeah. The no, rhyming it itself is an neat place to be. It was a cool building. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of people there. Yeah, Tasha had taken me there on my birthday oh, yeah. last year, and we saw Ron White and the whole, the, like, six or seven different comedians there one night. So, but yeah, it's good. It's good buildings. You know, it's, Sweet. Uh, what, so, you didn't, did you carve pumpkins last night and shit? I carved a little bit. I did, I was more like practice so that I can actually make you know, a good one. You can't enter the contest, right? Why? Tell them about the contest. Yeah, you want to tell them about the contest? Keep mentioning it. All right, so... Yeah. Gonna, when, when is it exactly? What's the deadline on it? 31st. Halloween. Okay, so Friday, right? Yeah. So Friday's going to be the uh, deadline on the contest. It's a uh, jack lantern carving contest. It has to be carved. It can't be painted or anything like that. It has to have something with SOE in the carving or whatever incorporated somehow. You can use and, the paint. There just has to be some carving involved yeah, with it. Exactly. Like you could just write so, John motherfucking Willis. That'd no, still be cool. You can't do that. No. Oh. But you could write, like, carved in the motherfucking USA. You do that. Oh, that's so cool. That's how it works. Look at. I'm just hey, for the Y O U. There goes your idea. Yeah. I, I've already, no, I already got a good one. It's already it's up there. It's, it's already carved. Yeah. I'm gonna go smash it. You probably would. <laughs> that way I can steal your idea and you won't have a pumpkin. Tad had a good idea for the barnyard. Get a little like kids like Scooby Doo pole or whatever fishing pole, and tie a piece of chicken to it. And phew, and have them all chasing it around the yard. <laughs> they would. Really would. Yep. Some other ideas too. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm not going there. Hi, mom. Love you. <laughs> I'm not going to share that. I can only imagine what was Tad talking about. Tad's completely a, random. Dude, like, Tad's funny. I was dying. Like you should try sitting in a deer stand with him. <laughs> like trying to be quiet and you can't. Yeah. Well, it's just his random ideas. I mean, just out of nowhere, just boom. And I was cracking up. I was like, wow. Mm. Uh, oh, dude, he doesn't hunt. Not really, no. No, he just no, goes, I was, he goes he, and hangs out with he, some dudes while they're hunting. Yeah, he did hang out with me while we were in the woods. I was going to say, man, because his interactions up at the, at the barnyard area, hunting. and like a squirrel in a tree, and what the hell is that? Oh, yeah. And That's stuff, exactly like, what was happening. The goose and <laughs> Every time we hear something, we're like, oh. Pablo, what was yeah. that? <laughs> I'm like, it was nothing. I'm like, I'm like, that's a squirrel. And so, you know, that's, a, that's a goat. Will they get up? Will they, what, what's it doing? Bob came up to the fence and started putting her hose up on the, the climb up. And he's like, whoa, 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 what's she doing? What's she doing? I'm like, dude, she just wants you to pet her. Just scratch her between the horns. Those are big horns. I don't want to scratch her. <laughs> he was cracking me up. He Silly was funny. Ass. He was funny. So did you see, did you, what did you and Mal do? You went and worked out, right? We both went and worked out. What'd you, did let, me, let me have the camera, man. We, um, <clears throat> Saturday worked here for several hours, cut a couple hundred belts out over the weekend. Um, went to the other shop, mowed down a couple more acres where they had hogged it, so we ran over it again with the mower, just kind of even it out. Um, split up a bunch of wood that we'd cut the weekend before. Got the log splitter running and uh, did that. Um, Cody and Tyler finished stacking that when I came back here and cut some more belts. Amanda shipped um, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday night we ran to Jackson to um, Sam's Club, Walmart, um, ate at Coyote Blues. Blue. Coyote Blues over there. Yeah. had a it fucking was. terrible, terrible margarita. Horrible. <laughs> um, other than the name margarita, like you could have tasted it and not identified it as a margarita. Um, food, food is good. It's like a, a Mexican cuisine. Kind of like a, a Tex-Mex or something. Yeah. It's good. They have like duck tacos and um, had a really good uh, gumbo. Had a um, like a spiced um, jalapeno sausage in there with some chicken good. and so it was real good. Like yeah. a tortilla soup. Yeah. Um, then we went to the uh, Halloween store. And, uh, did you get an outfit? I did. I got a couple of them. And, uh, <laughs> what are you going to be? And then... Um, <laughs> We forgot. We'd asked them, hey, is there another bag? Oh, no, there's only two bags. We got all the way fucking home, and one of the bags wasn't there. So we had to go back last night. Uh, so Lance went with us. We had some uh, sushi. And mm -hmm. uh, 
ran around. We went to Gander Mountain the night before while we were up there. And, um, fucking get over the damn Halloween store, this fucker's closed by the time we got there. So we gotta go again. So sometime this week, we'll go eat in Jackson. We'll go up there and eat and get the Halloween Dude, store. I can't wait to see him dressed up. D- yeah. It's gonna we be nice. I'd like to see in the comments what you think John Lewis would dress up as on Halloween or what he should dress up as. Because I think that's, I think that's a good topic. I think so as well. What, what are you going to dress up as? I think I... Can't be, you can't be what you already are. Hey, you guys, go get your food. I, I think you should dress up as like a jockey. So Cody got uh, this fucking, okay. this crazy clown mask and a lab coat. I said, just get a lab coat. We'll throw blood all over it. And you can take an axe <laughs> and just drag the axe. That's cool. Get blood all over that. So he gets this lab coat. We get it home, open it up. It says something felt her snatch. Gynecologist. Dr. Felter snatch. <laughs> felt her snatch. Is Gynecologist. What the 16-year-old ended up with. <laughs> 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 There's Heather. Keep her off film. I'm mad at her. You can't last. But Heather, you did have some big news. Oh, yeah, I got married. You did the deed, in fact. I did. did the deed. Congratulations. Thank you. And I also went on a 15 mile hike. I like your shirt. Show, you, show off your new oh, cool yeah, shirt, Joey. Got you. Joey got me a cool shirt. It's Harley Quinn in the Batman symbol. And he got me the backstory, the comic book of Harley Quinn. It's kind of cool. Right on. It's cool because Joey finally found a chick that he can buy shit for himself <laughs> and say it's for her, and she'll be totally stoked on it. Comic mm-hmm. book, nerd cards, um, nerd the gathering, um, <laughs> they sit around and roll dice, twenty sided dice and shit. Like I think that's they don't funny. even have to buy Christmas decorations; they can just glue hangers on that shit and hang it on their Christmas tree. Oh. So Joey, Joey did good finally. Like really, he was fine. doomed until he found Heather. <laughs> Kind of like John. <laughs> oh, we take the razors out. We're riding, and um, yeah, <laughs> we come up a trail head we normally come out, and on the other side of the road, there's what looks to have possibly been a trail at one time, and it was by the time we got down there. But she goes, "Hey, there's a, a gully there." I go, oh, "We can get through that." So we got through it, no problem. It's the second gully <laughs> on the other side of the gully where we high center. <laughs> so these tires are spinning, these tires are spinning. Of course, we've got no fucking recovery gear with us. So Cody runs back to the shop. Luckily, we're close. Gets a tow strap, and uh, we got out of there. So needless to say, we have a shitload of recovery gear, and none of it's in any of the fucking four razors. So we're going to build some bags that will strap to the uh, roll cage to hold some uh, 15-foot straps, some 30-foot straps, a uh, small shovel. We'll take a full-size shovel, cut the handle off, mount that. So we'll have all that shit with us, and uh, so we got we got out of there. It didn't it didn't take much, but we were stuck pretty good. That's awesome. Had we not had another razor with us, it would have been uh, an hour's worth of digging probably to free that. Oh man! <laughs> but you didn't break anything on the razor. Not this time. Not this time. Broke this time. No, it's all, all the broke shit's been replaced with heavier duty shit. So. One thing leads to the other. You replace one heavy duty part and something else is weak. So we're to the point now where there's really not much Polaris left in the car. So <laughs> it's mostly all aftermarket shit. <laughs> and that, that thousand motor, it creates so much power, like you really don't need to, to mod the motor. I mean, we'll, we'll run dual muzzies and chip all the cars. We're gonna run muzzy across everything. Um, just because we got we get some love for Muzzy and I like their products, they're hooking us up with some stuff. But like, had I had to pay full price, we still would have run that stuff. Um, but like the thousand cars, they got enough power. Your problem is keeping traction to the ground. Your your problem is really you need multiple sets of tires to match terrain where you're racing or, or running the cars at. And so you really don't need to do anything other than safety and uh, you know suspension type stuff. So that, that's about, that's what we did this weekend. What are we doing at the gym today? Today's leg day. Oh. Yep. So what are we doing? We'll do... Lunges, squats, type shit. Well, uh, we'll do squats and lunges because it's more of like, almost like a, I guess a, a, I guess you'd call it cardio based, but it's really just like being physically active based. As opposed to doing a lot of stagnant isometric stuff, we're going to do the dumbbell squats, five sets, five sets of lunges, and then we'll get on the 
treadmills or bikes, whatever people choose, and do a resistance or inclined cardio for 30 minutes after that. So it's uh, just cool. training the muscles, but also trying to get keep mobility and heart rate and oxygen capacity and things like that up. So cool. yeah. Uh, all you guys say that talking about the gym that we're, we're opening, we're not opening the gym. We own a lot of commercial equipment. We will put a cardio studio in the new building to work out in. We will still continue to use the gym, which is about 10 minutes from the new building. Um, just because our friend owns the place. Um, we've done business with those guys for several years now. All my employees have memberships there that we pay for. And uh, we pay them an hour while they work out. We will continue to use that gym. We're not putting a, a full-blown gym in the new shop. 10,000 square feet is going pretty quick. And we just we don't have room for the gym that I would want to have there. We do have a lot of property. We'll put in a um, an outdoor area where we can do some outdoor sprints and type stuff. The kind of workouts Lance has been leading outside. We can do at our shop and around the whole perimeter of the 10 acres. We'll put in uh, a walking trail for um, some of our employees that are older or just so out of shape that they won't go to the gym. Hopefully, they will utilize that and at least get out on the lunch break and walk a little bit. So we'll put that out there, and then there'll be some uh, single track, some some obstacles and type stuff out there, some some pull up bars and shit along the walking trail. Um, we could, in theory, cut some some single track out there. We've got access to about 100 acres behind the shop, and then there's another couple hundred over to the side. Um, we don't have permission to use it yet, but I, I have no doubt that we'll get permission to run out there, and. Uh, yeah, we could put some some single track, but I mean, with the tractors and stuff, we could easily build a lot yeah. of a lot of roll-ins and downhill jumps and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, just some some gravity drops and stuff out there would be real easy to put in. Um, we're gonna do some gardening out there. We're gonna move the animals out there pretty soon. Um, looking at fencing options for the horses. Um, war horses. War horses. Big. We're getting big ass horses, uh, like 16 and 18 hand percherons. And uh, I'm gonna need catapults. <laughs> hopefully we'll get some indentured Amish to uh, come and deal with the animals and care for the property and stuff. Or just some AWOL Amish either. Even they don't have to be like full blown Amish. You don't have to be Amish. We'll just dress you as one. <laughs> yeah. you, and if you don't have a beard, like we can totally cut some hair off Rouse's and glue that to <laughs> <laughs> that would make a great yeah. Amish beard. Yeah, actually, we do have an Irish wolfhound. All you guys, yeah, someone an Irish said Irish wolfhound. wolfhound. I was like, oh, we already have one of those. It's not big enough. He's a, we have a small Irish wolfhound yeah. now. Um, we are gonna get some some dogs. <coughs> we're, trying, time. we're trying to find the ones from uh, was it uh, Lord of the Rings? Those dogs that run across the thing after the rabbits. We want those dogs. Yeah. We want some attrition dogs after the knights go through and kill everything. <laughs> Finish them off. <laughs> Alright, let's see, cut that off. <laughs>